You can download freely this practical notebook from my website. Experiment 7 Part B in the practical notebook. Left side page of same experiment. Today we are going to perform an experiment and that experiment is experiment number 7. So in experiment 7 we will find to find the internal resistance of a cell by using potential meter. And in this experiment, we will be using the following operators and the operators potentiometer, cell, battery, two keys, rheostat, galvanometer, resistance box, and connecting wires. Cell, battery, two keys, key one and key two. Rheostat, galvanometer, resistance box, jockey and connecting wires. So first of all we have to close key, key 1 and we have to notice that the opposite deflection of the galvanometer. So for that first of all we will attach this jockey key on point A. So the deflection is on one side and when we are going to attach this jockey key with point B so the deflection is on the opposite side. It means your operators which you, are, we have, you have connected so this is good. So now we have to find out the null point so for this we will uh, move this jockey key over these wires. So by heat and trial method we will find the balancing length over this wire. So this is the balancing point. This is L1. So now we will note this length and we will write it on the whiteboard. Now we will take some resistance from the resistance box and it will be about 5 ohms and then close K, key 2. So now again we are going to find the balancing length by heat and trial method. So we will note this length and we will write in the table. We are going to write it on the um, whiteboard. So L1 is length 358 cm when K1 is closed and K2 is open. So then we will take 5 ohm resistance from the small resistance box and then we find the balancing length and that is 318 cm. The formula to find out the internal resistance of the galvanometer of the cell is R is equal to capital R L1 minus L2 over L2. So this R is the resistance which we have taken from the resistance box. L1 is the length when K1 is open, K1 is closed and K2 is open. L2 is the length when K1 and K2 is closed, so over L2. So by the calculation we find that the internal resistance of the cell is 0 0.63 ohms. Similarly, we will take two more readings and according to that readings we will find the balancing length and we will put in the formula and then we will take the average of all the three internal resistance of the cell and that is equal to 0 0.56 ohms. During the experiment first of all we have to check the opposite deflection of the galvanometer. For that when we connect this jockey key with point B deflection is on one side. So when we are going to connect this jockey key at point B deflection is on the same, same side. It means 
our connection is wrong for that we have to reconnect our wires properly to check all the connections properly and then again we are going to do the same thing so connect this jockey key at point b deflection is on one side connect this jockey key at the other point so deflection is on the other side it means our connections are properly checked and good secondly we have to check our connections if our connections are in this way that the wire is loose it means it is wrong so we have to connect the wires tightly so this is a proper connection this is tightly so this is the second precaution in this experiment the third precaution is the keys must be properly plugged in sometimes the students make it in this way and this is a wrong method this is loose this is the third precaution for the keys of the resistance box they are also tightly plugged in sometimes it is they are loose it must be plugged in tightly this is the fourth precaution of this experiment the next pre pre precaution of this experiment is so this jockey key should not be rubbed in this way it should be it should be moved in this way not in this way so this is a wrong method so this is the proper method to move a jockey key from one point to another point the next precaution is we have to use set scale or a transparent scale so the suppose this reading is about 81 centimeter and one thing we have to remember this reading is not properly 81 or 82 centimeter it is it will always be in the points suppose this is 80.9 centimeter or 81.1 centimeter the next precaution is we have to check the polarity of the cell so this is the negative side of the cell and this is the positive side of the cell but for our convenience we can find it negative on this side and positive from this side with the help of the cell it is written over the cell you can take this objective physics practicals from ilmi book depot urdu bazar lahore or you can download directly from my website your readings may be different from these readings. Check these readings as a reference. Thank you.